Well, hey there. Welcome back to my channel, and I'm glad you decided to click on this video. It's going to be a lot of cleaning motivation. I was getting motivated just from editing it. <laughs> There's so much in here. It's over a half an hour, which is kind of crazy for me, but I am very excited to get this up for you guys. It was done. This was the day after Christmas. I like to get all of the Christmas decor and the tree and everything down right after Christmas. If you know me, I like to decorate super early, sometimes in October, typically. I didn't do that this year, but that's what I usually like to do. I just love Christmas, but we take the decorations and everything down right after Christmas because we have a birthday on the 28th. So we just don't want her to feel like her birthday is jumbled into Christmas. I also wanted to get the new year started with a clean home. So yeah, so I had done a lot of baking, cookies, um, lots of holiday things that were going on in the kitchen, as well as just spending a lot of time with family and not um, get, keeping up as much with the mess as far as you know new toys and uh wrapping paper and i mean you know, obviously we got rid of the wrapping paper right away but there the new toys comes with new garbage new um just messes and so figuring out where everything goes you know how that is anyway that's what i was trying to do in this video we did organize the toys eventually and just everything all the things in this video and laundry i did some laundry as well so yeah i hope that you guys enjoy this that it gives you motivation Sorry about my voice. We were sick over Christmas and we are just starting to get better. So that's good. <laughs> but yeah, let me go ahead and get started without further ado. I started out with, of course, putting a bag in the garbage can. Usually my husband does that, but for some reason there was no bag in it. So we actually wound up filling up this whole entire bag. And we ha our garbage can, I think, is a 23 gallon and we use... 30 to 40 gallon bags sometimes in it but yeah we wind up filling them pretty quickly usually once a day depends I mean we have seven kids and the seven little kids so there obviously it winds up being quite a bit of garbage if you can imagine anyway so here I'm doing the dishes and while I was doing them the water was not turning quite hot enough and if you know me you know I'm pretty picky about my dishes I venture to say even perhaps a little OCD so I need my water to be hot and it was not so like I said so I discontinued that project and moved on to the next thing. After this I went on to start the washing machine and there wasn't like a full load of laundry in there but it was just this blanket and maybe a few socks and possibly a sponge um, but anyway I I know you can dump this laundry um, cup laundry soap cup in with the wash but I don't like to do that because I just think I'm gonna forget about it and put it in the dryer I think I've done that once don't want to do that again so not that i don't think it's bad i just don't think it's good <laughs> but anyway i do have a couple loads of clean laundry which you'll see me folding later in the video and it won't take a lot your fragile soul will soon be strong i'll carry you so tenderly what i want to say is that i stand by you when you're falling
I get asked a lot about this essential oil diffuser that I have. I absolutely love it. The children love it too. They love to just stare at it. And sometimes we pretend that we're catching the um, steam. I guess it's not steam. The vapors. The vapors. <laughs> anyway, sorry. Um, we pretend that we're catching it that's coming out of it and like releasing. Obviously, it doesn't work. But, you know, we're just... We're goofy. Anyway, so, yeah, I'll try to leave it linked below is my point. And, um, yeah, I recommend that you get it. It's really fun. Just the other day Oh, I guess that you were back in town It's been a long time since you've been around Remember when we used to make the streets unsafe together, baby We were young and foolish then Oh, how I wish we could go back again I've decided it's been too long, baby not to touch your heart Hope for a maybe I get a one-way ticket Down the memory lane There are two hearts beating Just nothing will ever be the same We had a chance, babe To work it all out But we blew it on our foolish pride And now I wanna scream and shout I love that I love you Wanna shout mind too many times if i say that i still love you babe would you leave all bad things behind i promise i won't mess things up like i did last time i saw you i did a lot of things that i regret now i'm not playing hot to get to touch your heart hope for a maybe i get a one-way ticket down the memory lane there are two hearts beating there's nothing will ever be the same we had a chance babe to work it all out but we blew it on our foolish pride and now i want to scream and shout i love that i love you want to shout Over there in the corner to the left, you'll see I have a chalkboard calendar that I'm using for, I kind of did a trial run for the month of December. I didn't plan every single thing, but I just generally planned out the month. I definitely need a plan going into the new year. Not a strict schedule. I prefer block scheduling, but I do plan the month and then I plan the week and then I plan the day. And I'm just trying to, f oh, there's me showing you the cookbooks that I got. I got the third one for Christmas. So now I have the complete set. I'm super excited about that. I love those cookbooks. Anyway, sorry, I digress. The plan that I have is to do the scheduling with the month and then go off of that for the week and then go off of that with the daily. And those are the planners I just had in my hand right there. And that 
I think it's going to work out pretty well. Like I said, I did a little trial of it in December. Not anything crazy, and it seems like it's going to work out really well. So we'll see. We'll see how it works out, and then I'll share a little bit more about it in a future video. Sorry, my voice is getting really bad. I got my husband. I can't talk. I got him a beard kit for Christmas and um, forget it. I'm gonna try again and I'm really sorry if this bothers you but I got my husband a beard kit for Christmas and what I was doing there is I was just clearing out a drawer for him in my skincare drawers anyway and a little later you'll see me um, there's a big mess by the coat closet and I didn't clean it very well because I was in a hurry I just threw them back in the coat closet I took out one of the coats to wash because it really needs to be cleaned. I'm going to do some repair on that coat anyway. And then, um, yeah, and I just threw everything back in the closet. The coats and shoes, we don't have a very good size coat closet. So even when I hang them up, I can't fit even a small fraction of the coats up on the hangers. And then the kids just pull them down anyway. So, yeah, that's what I did. Please don't judge me. It's just what I did.
this is just a personal preference thing, but I like to store my wipes upside down so that they don't get dried out on the top. It's hard to explain, but like if you use wipes, you might know what I mean. I like for the ones you get at the top to be more wet because when you start to use them, you flip it over, if you know what I'm saying. Maybe, maybe you don't, maybe I sound crazy. Anyway, um, you'll see this dollhouse broke less than 24 hours after flip being played with, but it was an easy fix. I just noticed that the screws they used there were a little small, so I got my pink toolkit out and I got some longer screws and was able to make it much more secure. Yeah. 
cry Written down the words to say It is time I've been waiting five days To explain How you make me feel inside Baby Got it all figured out Now on to dinner. I had some chicken that was mostly frozen. Unfortunately, it's not too fun to work with when it's like that, but it did not thaw. I had it out overnight and everything. It just for some reason didn't thaw, but um, must not been the right temperature and that's totally fine. But I mixed together some salt, pepper, onion, garlic, rosemary, paprika, and ranch seasoning mix. And I like to mix my seasonings, especially when I'm searing meat. I like to mix it ahead in a container to get it all uh, mixed up together and just be able to pour it on instead of doing like you know one side with each individual seasoning and then the next side you know what I'm saying that's just how I like to do it and I seared that meat and then I added these frozen green well yellow beans from a farmer's market we went to in the summer I had frozen not the summer the fall I guess I think the fall anyway it doesn't matter why would you care about that um anyway <laughs> I put that in the oven and then I brown some butter and what I like to do is toast some breadcrumbs in the brown butter. The best are the Italian seasoned panko to do in the brown butter in my opinion and that's all it is is butter and breadcrumbs but the flavor is so amazing with the brown butter. It's like got this nutty delicious depth of flavor that's really 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 good so I just served it up with some mashed potatoes and it was quite flavorful which was really nice to have after a long day of cleaning so I hope you guys got some motivation from this video it's the end actually believe it or not and I'll see you guys in the next one there's my thumbs up shadow bye Like you